what is going on, on youtube hope you guys notice the change in quality we got a new camera but we'll go into that later or in a different video today we're going to start a company or a computer repair company with these two little things and if you hear any uh background noise uh, my daughter's here with me so that's her oh and shout out to you guys again look where we're at now 485 you guys are amazing so let's go ahead and get started so we're gonna get started pretty much with zero dollars um, unless you don't have these then you can get you know a couple of flash drives or about um, I think you can get a, a two pack of like 16 gigs for like $15 now like at Staples or something like that um, but let's go ahead and show you what two softwares you're gonna be need to be running in order to get started on computer repair so Let's go ahead and uh, plug these flash drives in. Um, nope. I think I, I have one port that doesn't work, so I always gotta make sure I plug it in. Here we go. All right, here it is. Uh, actually, I plugged in the wrong one. Uh, so to be clear, I have two flash drives. One is a 32 gigabyte. One is a 128. Uh, the reason why one is a 128 and one of 32 is one of them you're gonna use them as your Windows installer. <coughs> Excuse me. It, it's gonna be something that you're gonna be doing a lot. Well, depending on you know what type of repair you want you want to focus on but uh, it is one of the things that we do a lot whether it's you know um, operating system reinstalls on computers that just have way too many viruses and customers just say nuke it or you know uh, refurbishing a computer or something like that or installing a new drive you're, you're gonna need one of those so let's go ahead and plug this guy in all right so you don't need 32 gigabytes for this one drive you only really need eight but I didn't have anything smaller than 32 so uh, what we are going to need is these different softwares. I'm going to go ahead and switch over here. So we are going to look up. Never mind all my search history. is not that much. I've just been looking at a couple different things. <laughs> uh, let's see. We need. Um, see, I can't even remember. Right now. It's a Windows. Wow, if I could fucking type. Uh, media creation tool and it's gonna be the first link up top um, and you're gonna click on the one that says download tool now and you are going to run that I already uh, oh I didn't have one. Oh, this is for a 20 h2 so this should be one of the latest ones so we're gonna go ahead and click on that click yes um, and let me go ahead and see if I can pull up a desktop on OBS I think it's this one let me go ahead and uh, there we go all right let me move OBS over here so we don't get that issue. all right there it is so you're gonna get this that comes up and we're gonna go ahead and click accept I'm gonna say getting a few things ready um, what it's basically going to ask if you want to uh, set the settings for this computer or um, basically 32 bit or 64. So you're going to go ahead and click create uh, installation media. Next. Um, I usually uncheck that and leave it at 64, which is same thing, but you know, have it. And then uh, click next. We're going to use the flash drive. <coughs> Here the flash drive is, uh, I named it the 32 gigabytes. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. And then it's gonna run through its thing and it will let us know when it's ready. All right, and we're back. So it finished now, it says your USB flash drive is ready, which is a uh, drive H. And if we open that up and go to this PC, there it is, it's a ESD. USB. We can go ahead and close that. We don't need that. We can go ahead and click finish here. Now the other software that we need is this one right here. Uh, 
Tyrants Boot CD. Now let me go ahead and move this over here. Good. So I guess I can disable. All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click uh, the download link. And when you just scroll down, these are all the tools that are inside of uh, this ISO. So we're going to go ahead and click uh, and download that ISO. So as you can see down here, uh, maybe it's too small, but it's a 1.3 uh, gigabytes. I'm going to go ahead and remove the other flash drive. So that's our Windows installer. Man, they started with the fireworks already. Apologize about that. Now, to install Hirens, you are going to need another software called Rufus. And we're going to go ahead and click on the first link. And this is what we're going to use to turn that ISO image into a bootable disk. So we're going to go ahead and click download Rufus uh, 3.14. All right, we can close this. And if we go to downloads, it's going to be the first one. So let me go ahead and put it in this flash drive. So as you can see, there's already a uh, hirens in there as soon as I plugged it in. But the way that you do it is you launch Rufus. Click yes, and then here in these properties, um, up at the device, you're going to select which flash drive you're going to use. Um, mine is set by default to H because it's the only flash drive there. And then it should say uh, disk or ISO image. So we're going to go ahead and click on select, and then find the high rents, which is the HBC BCD underscore PE, which is portable edition uh, that we downloaded go ahead and select that oops I didn't click click open and now it is going to uh, bring up the other um, information so here's where we got to stop and where you may need to create another um, Hiram's boot disk and the reason is because right now the partition scheme is set to GPT which is what most of the new computers have if it's like a Windows 7 machine that was updated to Windows 10, it most likely is MBR. Not all of them, but sometimes. So you're, you're probably gonna have to switch that to MBR and then it'll boot off BIOS because if you go GPT and you try to do it on a machine that's MBR, it'll let you know that, that, yeah, that it can't boot off properly. Now some people prefer not to use Rufus and use ISO to USB, but um, Usually with the other ones, they'll, they'll tend to have issues where when you create the disk, it won't actually uh, make it bootable. That's why I use Rufus. Uh, so then you would just click start and it takes maybe, I don't know, five, 10 minutes uh, to create the disk. And when you finish, um, it'll look like this. And then, so now that it's bootable, when you turn on the computer, um, if you have this plugged in, uh, you'll be able to boot off it. It'll look like a Windows uh, desktop, but it'll say Hirens or uh, Windows uh, Portable Edition. And then from there, you'll be able to run uh, certain tests on hard drive and, um, you know, virus scans, stuff like that to see what's wrong with the system. So those are the two that you need to get started on a computer repair. I will go more into debt, not debt, in death wow those two why could more in debt what does that sound weird that's probably said correctly but i don't know it sounded weird for some reason on uh how to probably use hirens on you know on computers and the several tests that are in there and other software that is available and that is it for today but for those who stuck around here's some good news well ne good news for Almost everybody else that entered the giveaway, 
bad news for that one guy that won in the previous video because he didn't reply within the time limit that he had so unfortunately we have to redraw so why don't we go ahead oops that's the wrong why don't we go ahead and do that right now so we are gonna go to where's my link the giveaway and we are gonna have to revoke that uh, that winner and we're gonna go ahead and do it again right now so let's go ahead and revoke win so unfortunately Owen didn't uh, you know reach to us out to us in time so we have to go with someone else so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and now we can go ahead and draw someone else so as you know has to be in the US um, in order for for you to you know qualify or actually win the the Ryzen 5 so let's go ahead and click draw winner yes draw and it is Angela Wood congratulations you are the new winner I will be reaching out to you shortly um, hopefully you reply within the seven days and can claim your prize and that will be it uh, for today. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.